Hello, dear friends and colleagues. Today, I will discuss another hot topic, which is rare but common in exam, MRCP exam or any entrance exam. And if you will read several time, still you will forget several time. So I'd like to simplify this. There's a familial Mediterranean fever okay so familial mediterranean fever if you analyze the name of the disease you can know the sign symptoms know the epidemiology and you can know around 90% of the disease by analysis the name okay so i'm just simplify by analyzing the name so that you will not forget first uh, a name there are several names of the disease familial mediterranean fever one of the name another name is um, a, a familial paroxysmal polycerocytis recurrent polycerocytis benign recurrent fever lot of names you will get uh, so I'd like to uh, explain f familial uh, Mediterranean fever okay so familial means uh, this disease run in the family so it is hereditary so what type of inheritance autosomal recessive or autosomal dominant in common rule, probably you have already learned that if any disease start with familial or hereditary, it is autosomal dominant. But examiner know that common rule also. So if in exam it will be asked that familial Mediterranean fever autosomal dominant or recessive okay so you have to think there is something destruction here it is autosomal recessive my dear friend it is exceptional for that reason examiner will cho uh, choice examiner will choose the uh, uh, question whether it is autosomal recessive or dominant so this familial that means run in the family it is autosomal recessive disorder okay second thing if autosomal recessive, where is the mutation? So you have to learn this, you have to remember the gene. So it is also difficult to remember the gene. So I will give some clue uh, from the name of the disease. You can know the uh, name of the gene also. Okay. So Mediterranean fever. You take two letters, first two letters from Mediterranean, M, E. And two letters from fever, F, B. This four letter actually the gene. M E F V gene mutation occurs in this familial Mediterranean fever. Now uh, come, uh, this is familial, I explain. Now Mediterranean. Mediterranean means this is the disease of the area of Mediterranean region. So more common, worldwide you can get, but more common in the Mediterranean region. So you will get more patients in the Mediterranean country like Turkish, Armenian, Arab, Jews descendant, you will get more. So, a Mediterranean indicate also the epidemiology of the disease. Now, fever. Fever will be the symptoms and if you analyze it, this fever will be recurrent. Repeatedly, patient will have fever. So, fever will last one to three days. And then patient in between attack, there will be a, again another attack. It may be after one week or after one month. In between this attack, patient will be normal. Okay. So, there will be recurrent fever. 
so in name it is said that this is a disease of the hereditary autosomal recessive condition in mediterranean region and it is associated with recurrent fever okay then another name of the disease just analyze this another disease that uh, familial paroxysmal polycerositis okay so familial it is again autosomal uh, recessive and uh, inherited run in the family paroxysmal means recurrent and polycerositis poly means multiple serositis means inflammation of the serous layer so it indicates where this disease will affect so just try to find out where is serous layer in the lung uh, pleura so patient will develop pleuritis in the abdomen peritoneum patient will develop peritonitis in the heart pericardium patient will develop pericarditis it will present in the meninges of the brain and spinal cord so patient may develop meningitis patient uh, present in the synovial membrane so synovial is so joint pain so polycerositis will be the uh, pathology when symptoms will be involved organ where is serositis developed it is like uh, SLE okay. so polycerositis if developed in the lung pleuritis the patient will present with chest pain and pleuritic chest pain means stabbing in nature and it will increase during taking breath inspiration coughing sneezing as there is pleuritis there is a chance of accumulation of the pleural fluid so patient will present with signs symptoms of pleuritis now come to the peritoneum peritonitis so there will be pain in the abdomen and abdomen will be rigid cardboard like rigidity will find and sign symptoms of peritonitis peritonitis will get patient will pain jo uh, with uh, 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 present will joint pain because of synovitis patient will present pericarditis so chest pain retrosternal pain can uh, pain can be there patient will present same symptoms of meningitis okay this uh, uh, so polycerositis also indicate where the location of involvement and the sign symptoms of the disease already i mentioned heart is uh, relatively less involved now so by analyzing the disease name of the disease already i told the signs symptoms of the disease epidemiology of the disease genetic inheritance of the disease okay now uh, what is the actual mechanism it 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 is called auto inflammatory condition syndromes not autoimmune auto inflammatory because of the uh, dysregulations because of the mutations of the gene there is dysregulations of the inflammatory process for that reason there is auto inflammatory condition for that reason recurrently the inflamed sero serous layer and give rise to the symptoms so patient will um uh, developed sign symptoms of this disease and it will run in the family so we'll get the history of family uh, involvement and it will start in the adults and before 20 years of age all the symptoms of uh, this type of any symptoms sometimes it may present with the chest pain sometimes with the abdomen not together sometimes only with fever but the symptoms will be there before 20 years of age in adolescent life okay now uh, any uh, another thing actually you will notice that when there is fever the serositis uh, symptoms will be associated with that it will not come without fever 
So when fever develop, patient may complain that I have chest pain with fever. Patient may develop, uh, develop joint pain. Patient may develop uh, abdominal pain or chest pain or retrosternal pain like that. Okay. Uh, it is actually two types. Familial Mediterranean fever type 1 and familial Mediterranean fever type 2. Type 2 usually involve kidney and it is associated with amyloidosis and if you will not treat this patient, this amyloidosis will lead to renal failure and it is the complications of the disease and type 1 usually associated with serocytes, other, other disease, other symptoms, what I already discussed. So, how will diagnose this disease? Genetic analysis, you will get mutations in the MEFB gene, renal function test, X-ray test to see the sign symptoms of pleural effusion or pleuritis present or not, ECG to see whether there is pericarditis or not, and clinical examination you will get. Uh, fever usually more than 39 and 40 degrees centigrade. So any patient from the Mediterranean region, if say that there is fever and uh, fever last three days and several times I have fever, I, this fever is in, in my familial region, there is joint pain, chest pain, you have to think about familial Mediterranean fever. What is the treatment? Treatment is colchicin, my dear friend. Colchicin uh, uh, will need to continue. There is no cure. Continue for lifelong, and uh, you will. Uh, if continue, then you can prevent the accumulation of amyloid body in the kidney. So you can prevent the renal failure also. So colchicin will be uh, treatment. If not respond, then you can uh, use NSAID or any other uh, in anti-inflammatory drugs, anakendra, something like that, interleukin-1 uh, inhibitor like that. And counseling of the family, that it is autosomal recessive, 25% of the diseased person can be transmitted to the descendant uh, generation, and it, there is no cure, so, um, but there is a possibility to control the disease and the treatment of the disease. And after taking colcysin, patient dramatically respond to fever and joint pain and other pain. Okay, so this is all about familial Mediterranean fever. Actually, if you analyze the name, you will get all the information of the familial Mediterranean fever and hopefully you will get some question uh, and uh, you can confidently answer the question like familiar Mediterranean fever is autosomal dominant or recessive, this is a recurrent fever present or not, yeah. what type of involvement are there, amyloidosis present or there, treatment of um, uh, familiar Mediterranean fever is colchicine, what is the uh, side effect of colchicine? If you remember one side effect, it is diarrhea. Remember this. Uh, other side effects also are there skin involvement, tingling sensation, something like that. But you just remember diarrhea. So, hopefully, you will get the idea after watching this video. If you like this video, uh, I'll be again uh, with another hot topic. Just uh, stay with me by subscribing on my channel and hopefully I will come soon with another topic which will be helpful for you. Thank you very much my dear friend.